Now, when fish are bred for a period of time in aquariums and you're not getting enough genetic diversity within the fish, the fish end up becoming deformed. Now, if you look at these Brazilianses here that are pretty much sliding their body along the substrate, is because they're actually deformed. And it, and it would be in the, um, the genetic sequence that they've got from breeding too much brother and sister. So keeping genetic diversity within your fish is really, really important. So you can see this fella here, which is clearly unaffected. He's quite healthy, happy, and holding his position in the water column very well. Whereas you can see these other ones here that keep sitting on the ground have clearly got some sort of swim bladder disorder, which um, is caused by inbreeding. Now, as with many cats and dogs which suffer from inbreeding, same with fish. In some cases, especially in countries like Australia where a lot of these fish cannot be imported, there is a limited gene pool available to us in the first place. So you need to take whatever um, strategy you can to make sure that you're not continually breeding brother and sister. So with fish, if you breed one batch of brother and sister, it's really not the end of the world. But if you breed brother and sister and then their babies, you breed brother and sister and their babies, you breed brother and sister, you're gonna limit the gene pool, which means you're gonna end up with deformities. a shame but that's the way life is just another good reason why you shouldn't breed with your brother or sister think of the kids